start introducing the rye, mm -hmm. followed up by corn, and then uh, a separate grain bill on the back side of it. We are actually the first legal distillery in Okaloosa County. Um, tonight we're going to be doing the first legal large batch of rye whiskey. And the yeast does its work, and I mean, you know, there in many states, it's, it's needed to go to a state where it'll smell like a wine, then it'll be a, a, a real sweet tea aroma. Um, We'll essentially let it cook for about an hour. Um, it'll start producing the sugars and breaking down the starches. On the average, you're looking at seven days, start to finish from the time we cook till the time we separate the grain from what they call the wash. We'll again introduce the wash into the still. And usually within eight hours, we'll have our distilled spirit out the other end of the still. Uh, we'll introduce it at about 125 proof into a barrel. Um, it'll sit for a minimum of uh, five months in a barrel. And if it's ready to go, we'll proof it down to 80 and uh, we'll get it ready for packaging. During Prohibition, after Prohibition, and even up till now, um, there was quite a bit of, of moonshine and whiskeys being made throughout Oklahoma County. So it, it's just neat to be a part of history and being the first legal one.